Today is all about making statement jewelry. So I love statement necklaces and I love chip beads. And so I came up with this design out of the leftover chip beads that I had laying around to make a big impact as a necklace. So let's go over the tools and materials you're gonna use for this project. You're gonna need a cutter. You're gonna need a round nose plier. You're going to need two flat nose pliers to open and close your loops and jump rings. You're gonna need 20 gauge wire. You're gonna need some jump rings and you're gonna need a lobster claw clasp or any kind of clasp you have at home. You're gonna need some chain to attach your beads to your necklace and you're gonna need your beads. So in order to make this necklace, you're gonna need 10 beaded links and I'm gonna show you how to make one and then you're gonna repeat it nine more times and then we're gonna lay it out and I'm gonna show you how to attach it to the chain. So you're gonna start with 20 gauge wire and go ahead and make a loop on one end and you're gonna roll that loop back towards you. So you're not gonna do it to the side, but you're gonna roll it straight back and just make a loop that looks like this. Okay, so after you make your loop, you're just gonna take your fingers and kind of give it a little bit of a curve, just like that. And then when, after you get your beads on, you're gonna kind of tweak it a little bit. So add five beads. Two. Four. Five. And now that you have five beads on, you're gonna take a jump ring, two jump rings, open that up, and you're gonna add another jump ring to it and close that jump ring. And then you're gonna add that to your piece and then add five more beads to the other side. Five. Okay, now you have your five or 10 beads total on here. And before you make your second loop, kind of just go ahead and bend that wire to give it more of a little curve right here. And then you're gonna take your cutter, cut the wire off, leave enough wire to make a loop. Now you have a loop on both sides, and now you're gonna add a jump ring to both of those loops. So add a jump ring to this side. Add a jump ring to this side. So now it should look like this. So you're gonna repeat this step nine more times, but on your last one, just leave the jump rings off the middle. So you have 10 total. And what I do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my piece how I want it. And then I'm gonna connect it all together and then connect it to my chain. I found that that's a little easier than trying to connect everything on the chain while it's hanging up because it's just, it's a little difficult. So lay it out. So there's gonna be four on the top row, and then there's gonna be three on the second row, two on the third row, and then one on the bottom, on the first row. And that bottom one has no jump rings in the middle. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect these together and I'm gonna start with the third row down connecting. So you're just gonna open those jump rings that you put on each loop. Just connect those jump rings together, close it up, connect 
these together. See now that is all connected. Now we're gonna go to each row and connect. So now this is connected. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect from the bottom up, we're gonna connect this jump ring to the middle of this link. So open this jump ring up and we're gonna connect it to the middle of this and I'll lay it back out so that you can see what I just did. So I just connected this jump ring to this beaded link jump ring. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So everywhere you see a jump ring, you're gonna be connecting it to another jump ring. So open that one up, connect it to this jump ring, close that up. So you've got the bottom part. And now we're gonna do the same thing with this. So we're gonna connect the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the middle first. So open this up. Close that. I'm gonna lay it back down so you can kind of see. I know it gets a little. So now it looks like this. And now you're gonna connect this jump ring to this jump ring. So we'll connect that there. And I'll lay it back out so that it's easier for you guys to see. And then we'll connect this jump ring to this jump ring. Close that one up there. Okay, so in the middle right here, I noticed that my design was not laying Right, so I added another jump ring to the third row in between the two. So I added a third one so that it would lay right. And make sure that each time that you're connecting these that you lay it back down and that will help you see if you need an extra jump ring or you need to take one away with how it's gonna lay. That's what is a game changer so that you don't put it straight onto the chain because each time you need to lay it down to make sure it's laying right. So now we're, we're going to connect this to this. These actually need to have three jump rings in between the second row and third row. I'm going to add, just so that it lays better, I'm going to add three jump rings in between these beaded links. So three here, three here, and three here. Okay. So now we are going to connect the top row to the second row. So we're going to add this middle link or middle. Jump ring to the second row. To here. Start 
start looking like this. And then we are gonna add this jump ring. Here, I'll lay it back out so you can see. And then we will open this jump ring up. add it here and then lay it out to make sure everything is how you like it and then from here you're gonna take your chain and this is where you're going to attach your jump ring straight to the chain This guy, add it to the chain, close it, and then I'm going to open up this one, close it, Almost done. Open up this guy, slide it through your chain. Each time, keep laying it out so that it's, you know where it's gonna go. Last one. So now that you have it attached to your chain, it should look like this. And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a jump ring, open it up, add your lobster claw clasp or any kind of clasp you have, close it up, and add a another jump ring to the other side. Close that up. If you want to add a bead to make it a finished look, you can take some of that 20 gauge wire and bend the end and make a head pin. Add one of your beads that you have laying around. Bend it over. Cut it and make a loop, and then you can attach that to that jump ring that you put on in so it gives it a finished look. And then when you go to, to attach it in the back, you have a little finished look in the back. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's on, really cute. So let's go over the tools and supplies that we use to make this project. You're gonna need flat nose pliers. I use two to open and close jump rings and your chain links. A round nose plier to make your loops. A cutter to 
cut your wire, some 20 gauge wire, some jump rings, some beads, and whatever chain you wanna use to put your necklace together and whatever clasp. I used a lobster claw clasp. If you wanna pick up any of the supplies I used today, check out the links below. What's your favorite chips? I like Funyuns. Okay, but what other chip projects would you like to see us make? Let us know in the comments, like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and we'll see you next time.